find the solution of the differential equation that satisfies the given initial condition. So we got differential equation here as dy over dx equals x times e raised to y. And when we solve for y, when we solve, we get y equals some function of x plus c. To determine the value of c, we use this initial condition, y at 0 equals 0. That means when x equals 0, y is 0. Okay, so let's solve this differential equation first. So x times here, so we need to separate the variables. Function of y, dy, this is on the top in the left, and function of x, dx in the right side. This is same as writing dy equals, move dx to the other side, e y dx. So this is in differential derivative form. Now this is in differential form. Now here is dx means we can only leave x so that we can integrate. Okay, this is dx. Uh, let's move e y to the left. That means we need to divide both sides by e to the y. Divide both sides. So this is 1 over e to the y and 1 over e to the y is same as e to the negative y. So when we divide, we get e to the negative y, dy in the left, x dx in the right side. So function of y dy, function of x dx. So we can now integrate. So e to the negative y dy equals x dx. Okay. Now we need to find the antiderivative. This is easy. So just x is square over 2, x raised to 1 using the power rule plus c. In the left, we know that when we have e x, it's simply e x. But if we have not only x, some constant alpha x, it will be the same and divided by alpha. So this is a little u substitution, but if there is just a number, you can get away, get away just doing this. So here is e raised to negative 1y. So antiderivative itself divided by that number which is negative 1. Okay, so let's solve for y now and we can apply the initial condition to determine constant. Okay, so let me write over here. So this negative in the front, we can bring that and e to the negative y, okay, if you like, you can write 1 over e to the positive y. Because negative exponent means put on the bottom. This is negative to the front. That equals x is square over 2 plus c. Now we have two options. We can determine the constant using the initial condition. Or we can first solve for y, then use initial condition to determine c. So let me find c because then we'll get a number and that might help us, that might be easier to solve for y, okay? So to determine, okay, c, use the initial condition y zero equals zero. So y value is zero, when x is 0. So let me write that. Using y 0 equals 0, we get negative 1 over e raised to y, because y is 0, equals 0 square over 2, simply 0, plus c. And e raised to 0 is 1. Negative 1 over 1 is just negative 1. So c equals negative 1. Okay, now we can put this back here in this equation. So we got negative 1 over e to the y equals x square over 2 plus c. c is negative 1. Now we need to solve for y. Uh, this one is still a good solution, but we have not isolated y. So this is 
implicit solution. Explicit solution means we need to determine, we need to isolate y. I mean, that's what they want, we need to isolate y. So here is negative. So how about multiplying throughout by negative one so that we can get rid of this negative? So ey equals uh, negative x square over two plus one. Okay, now this is on the bottom, ey. So we need to move to the top. So we can flip this fraction, but here we got two fractions. Uh, how about combining these two first, then we can flip. So one over e to the y, or we can move this up, leave negative, and that works as well. That might be easier. Okay, all we are doing here is trying to isolate y. So move this up, so e to the negative y equals, I want to write one first because one has plus, so I don't have to write negative in the front, this. Now get rid of this e. So we need to take ln both sides. Okay, take ln both sides, natural log. So natural log of this equals natural log of whole thing. Because natural log of e, when they are adjacent, that's just one. So this negative y jumps to the front. Okay, because natural log of x raised to y, I meant e raised to or any e raised to anything this jumps to the front that's that's it and natural log of e is one so in this case we get negative y equals natural log of this junk now to isolate y we need to get rid of negative in the front multiply both sides by negative one that means y equals ne negative natural log of x square over 2. When we multiply by negative 1, it's just outside because this is just argument for ln. So y equals negative ln of this junk. That's the final answer.